Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So if you're someone who's looking for an affordable and effective hyaluronic acid serum that just gives you this plump, hydrated skin, then keep watching. In this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about this hyaluronic acid serum by The Ordinary. Now, I just recently found out that The Ordinary has also opened its place in Sephora in Dubai Mall. So if you're living in Dubai, you must go check it out because I'm definitely going to go and take you guys along with me in my coming videos. Now, as someone who is perpetually dry or dehydrated skin, you guys, I had to reach out for this serum. Apparently, this is the most loved serum by The Ordinary. It also went viral on Instagram I think last year and I'm not sure about TikTok because I don't use TikTok but Instagram for sure and I definitely did my research before getting my hands on it that's why I loved it you can see I've used like half of the bottle already now this bottle comes in two sizes 30 ml and 60 ml and it is free of quite a lot of things okay this product like it's silicon free it's fragrance free it's oil free it's gluten free it's cruelty free and it's also vegan now I'm just gonna quickly talk about the key ingredients that are present in this serum because it is important to understand what is it that you're applying on your face and I take it seriously so well the first one is sodium hyaluronate okay now this is a salt version of hyaluronic acid and it basically just acts as a sponge and absorbs all the moisture and retains the moisture in the skin now there is quite a bit of science happening in this little bottle so this product consists of different molecular weights of hyaluronic acid so there is lower molecular weight hyaluronic acid which penetrates deeper in the skin and provides deeper hydration while the higher molecular weight hyaluronic acid stays on the surface of your skin and provides surface hydration it contains sodium hyaluronic cross polymer now before it turns into a sort of chemistry class the only thing you need to know about this one is that it helps bind five times more water as compared to the usual hyaluronic acid so it just helps provide that extended hydration to the skin. Now it also contains glycerine and vitamin B5. Both of these are humectants that just help skin retain more moisture. And vitamin B5 also contains anti-inflammatory properties. So that's great to soothe the skin. So texture, it is a colorless serum and it is water-based. So it gets absorbed in the skin quite quickly. But one thing I noticed is that it is a little slimy and sticky. So that can be a little bothersome for some people but how I like to wear this one is that I just apply it on my face and wait for a few seconds and then follow up with moisturizers and the stickiness is gone. Now in terms of smell, I'm still not able to pinpoint how this smells like. It's just the smell of these ingredients um, but it's not a foul smelling product or anything that's bothersome or not even unpleasant. It's just the smell of the ingredients but the fact that it is fragrance free it is amazing for people with sensitive skin types so yeah that's great. The right way to use this product and the way I use it is on clean skin. So I use the Squalene Cleanser by The Ordinary to get squeaky clean skin. If you want an honest review about this you guys I have another video on my channel where you can know everything about the cleanser but once I have clean skin I apply the serum on damp skin use a facial mist to sort of like wet my face and then apply two to three drops of this hyaluronic acid serum on my face I do not like to overdo it because I've heard that if you use extra of the serum then your skin might just dry out more so just use two to three droplets on your face and then I tap my skin like I tap my face I love doing that it just gives a a really nice sort of feel on my skin and the product also gets absorbed so I tap 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 and then I'm good to go to follow up with moisturizer and definitely your sunscreen now to avoid pilling uh, pilling is a whole new topic for another video but some people have mentioned that after using the serum and applying different products they notice small sort of balls or clumps on their face to avoid this is super simple use less product I personally haven't experienced something like pilling but if you are just make sure that using you're using just two to three drops of this product and not overdoing it because over applying any product in terms of makeup or skincare is not good so don't overdo it just use less product save your product and avoid pilling as well my honest opinion about this serum is that firstly it has not given me any breakouts or reactions i've also read quite a bit of reviews online and figured out that people are not complaining about reactions from the serum 
for sure. But to be on the safer side, I do suggest you to do a patch test. And secondly, a small drawback that I experienced with this serum is that it doesn't provide me intense hydration all day. So I do need to reapply it in the night. But we all are different. We all have different skin types. So you need to try it and figure out for yourself. In terms of conflict, this serum does not have any conflicts, just that it is an acid. So a lot of people are intimidated from it and they do not use these acids. But let me tell you, this one is really gentle and all about hydration. Apart from that, this is a great addition to your multi-product skincare routine you can get this serum on amazon i've added a link in the description below so you can check it out just in case you don't want to buy this particular serum by the ordinary there are alternatives there's one by good molecules and another one by inky list both of them have similar formulations so you can check that out as well in my description box below if you're someone who's decided to get their hands on this product after watching this video and still has questions then make sure that you drop them down in the comments below and i'll try to help you out thanks for watching